Welcome back to CHE 531. This is part two of solving linear systems using MATLAB backslash operator. So last time we talked about the benefits of using backslash operator against uh, the, the well-known approach of inverse of the coefficient matrix. So we argued that uh, using the inverse is not a good idea. It's not a good way because it uh, runs most likely to uh, singular matrices if uh, <clears throat> the matrix is is uh, is very large. On top of that, if the matrix is not square, you cannot use the inverse of A, and because of that, it's really recommended to use back slash operator. Okay, so we talked about a case where we have a um, number of equations more than the number of unknowns, and we discussed the fact that um, using back slash operator actually gives us an approximate solution. We talked about the error um, by um, plugging any random number into the equation and uh, showing that uh, the error that we get for every equation is more than or the overall error we get uh, from any other random number or random solution will be larger than the solution that is given by the back slash operator all right so um, uh, we also talked about few uh, logistics in MATLAB editor window, we said the comment line is um, whenever we have this uh, percent symbol, right? That is the comment line in MATLAB. Okay, so uh, I think now we can talk about other forms of the equation AX equal B. If we write the equation in the form of X times A equals B prime, right? In this case, let's say if X is um, is a row vector and then b if it's b um, if b is the column vector then b prime or b transpose is going to be the row vector okay so then the row vector times the square or rectangular matrix on the left side we're going to have a row vector and then b prime is also a row vector this equation can also be solved using uh, matlab in this case the solution is going to be b prime divided by a so it's a little bit weird because now A is matrix, but division uh, or dividing a vector by a matrix is possible if, if uh, we want to solve a system like this. All right, so we talked about the transpose in MATLAB, which is uh, calculated by this uh, single code. If my X is a uh, two by two, this is a two by two matrix. Let me just uncomment that line, comment these lines. So A is a two by two, A prime will be again two by two, but the rows and columns are flipped. So let me just run that for you. And to run it again, uh, you go to this uh, top ribbon here and then click on this green arrow. It says, do you want to change the folder? Yes, we're going to change it to the current folder. And there you go. So here's the result. It shows up in the command window. So here's my A is a two by two, and this is a transpose of it. It says ANS, means answer. Right, so if you look at this, the first column is minus two minus four, but it shows up as a row in the A transpose. And same thing, the second column is one one, shows up in the second row. So column will go to row in transpose, and that's what we mean by transpose. So here's another form of creating a matrix. So you see at this, uh, at least uh, you see two forms of writing a matrix, one with comma, uh, separating the columns, and semicolon to separate the rows. We can also separate the columns by space. And we also can separate the rows by just going to the next line. So this is another form. Let me just include actually the, the third form. So here is the third one. If it's instead of semicolon, I'm gonna to go to the next line. And space actually doesn't matter. You can write it like this or this. All of them actually would work. Now, uh, at the end of each line, you have you have an option to put semicolon. If you put semicolon, the result of this line will not be shown in the command window. That means if I run this, 
we do not see this the last line but if I just uncomment oh, so our, um, I'm sorry get rid of the semicolon in the end and run it you see now well let's see I have three right so this is the a and then this is transpose so that corresponds to this line and transpose of it like this line and then I have two more lines and here's the a from this line and this a is coming from this line but if I put a semicolon at the end of the last line this line will not be it is executed right MATLAB goes over it it calculates whatever that is but it doesn't show the result on the command window okay so I think that's enough for a very short tutorial on MATLAB the next topic we're going to talk about is LU factorization so going back to lecture notes um, if you want to really understand how this backslash operator works um, we have to look at LU factorization or a lower and upper so this L stands for lower U stands for upper triangular matrices so by LU factorization we factorize or we split any matrix either either square or rectangle we can split any matrix to lower and upper triangular matrix lower triangular matrix means a matrix where uh, the elements above the diagonal are zero an upper triangular matrix is the matrix whose elements below the diagonal are zero okay so with this definition uh, there is a theorem that indicates any a can be written as the matrix l times u and this a actually has to be pre-multiplied by this p or permutation matrix so this permutation matrix is a matrix of only zeros and ones and once you multiply this p by or a by p it actually uh, swaps the rows so the the permutation matrix is nothing to permute or swap the rows of a okay so we don't really want to get into details of uh, what is what p really is but all we need to know at this point is uh, the LU factorization factorizes the A, well, P times A, into a lower and upper triangular matrix. And by using this, now we can go and see why or how back a slash operator works. So if I have an equation like AX equal B, I pre-multiply these by P, and P is again permutation matrix. There is a way to find the elements of P, but we don't discuss that. All we need to know at this point is uh, if you multiply this by a permutation matrix P, which is specific matrix that converts P times A to L times U. Okay, so we're going to divide, we're going to multiply this uh, or the first equation by P. Okay, and then uh, we're going to replace P times A by LU. So from this line, second line to the third line, there's a theorem that indicates any P times A can be re replaced by L times U. Okay, now by doing so, now my equation is now L times U times X equal to P times B. Right now, I assume that U times X is Y. So if you assume that U times X is Y, then this equation can be written as L times Y is equal to P times B. Okay, given that L is a lower triangular matrix which means the upper elements or the upper diagonal elements are all zero then you can basically solve this system very easily so let me show you how l y equals p b can be solved okay so let's actually do the lu factorization and then i'll show you what uh what u is what l is and how um L times um, yeah how L times Y equal PB can be solved and then from this how we can basically calculate X so this whole process actually this factorizing P times A to L times U is what is called um, Gauss elimination method which is the main method of solving any linear system 
So if you use bank and slash operator, what MATLAB does, it actually does split the, the P times A to L times U. And then from here, it calculates Y. And then from Y, it calculates X. You don't see any of these. All you, need, all you see at the end is the solution to the solution X. But uh, um, on the back end, uh, what MATLAB is calculating actually Y and then X. All right. So here is how we can split the matrix into an L and U. Let's say I have a matrix. This is a four by four matrix, right? You see it here. And this is my B. Okay, assume that we're going to solve A times X equal B. Now I have here four equations, four unknowns. And again, B is a column matrix because I have semicolon between any uh, two numbers. All right, so the command for LU factor is uh, is LU. So I'm going to call LU. And on the right side, we, are, we write it as L comma U comma P. That means once we uh, factorize the A, we get three matrices back, the P, the U, or the permutation matrix, upper triangular matrix, and lower triangular matrix. So let me stop the code and run it up to there. Okay, so here it is. This is my L, which is lower triangular matrix. Again, lower triangular matrix is a matrix whose upper elements or upper diagonal elements are zero. And you see that upper triangular or upper uh, diagonal uh, elements are zero. U is a matrix whose elements below the diagonal are zero, and you see it's all zero below the diagonal. So here's a diagonal, right? And permutation is permutation matrix is this. You see it's all zeros and ones, and by multiplying A by P, you can do uh, the math and see that what P does it actually swaps the rows. Like when I see one in the first row of P. That means it swaps um, row one with row one. So actually it does nothing. But when I see uh, the second row has one in the third entry, right? So here's the second row and one shows up in the third entry. What it does is it swaps the second and third row. Second because this is the second row and third because I have one in the third column. The next row has uh, one or uh, yes it has one in the second entry so what it does is it swaps row two and three again okay uh, the reason is because this is the third row and one is sitting in the second column so it swaps row two and three the last one which is the fourth line or fourth row has one in the fourth entry so it swaps row four with row four which means it does nothing so by swapping these, it makes A ready to be factorized to an L times U. So once we do that, then we get L and U and P. So now what we're going to do is we're going to compare the solution to the linear system using backslash operator. Uh, so this is called method one and method two. We're going to basically follow this approach. We're going to have uh, now we have L, we can solve for Y, and then using Y, we can solve for X, and then compare this X with the solution of backslash slash operator. So the goal of this, of doing this exercise is to show that backslash slash operator is nothing but LU factorization of the matrix, and then solving this system of Y and then X, right? So pretty much these equations are calculated on the back side or the back end of the back slash operator. Okay, this is called Gauss elimination method or LU factorization. Okay, so I'm gonna do and I'm gonna go ahead and do one more step. So there's a button here called a step. If I click on that, I'm gonna execute just the current line. So I'm gonna click on that and you see the this green arrow goes one row down. And what it what has done, what it has done is, um, it actually executed line fourteen. Okay, it now prints out the result. So this is my x. Now I'm going to go and run the next line. So I'm going to go a step. So it multiplies p by b. And what I'm doing here is I actually I just calculate the right hand side of this equation. Now I have to solve for y. Well, using this equation, the last one. I have to solve for y and then solve for x. Okay, so so y is going to be l back slash b b and b b is p b, right? So look at this. I'm solving actually for y using the back slash operator. 
Okay, so stay tuned for part three of solving linear system using MATLAB.